Hello friends, welcome to my channel. I'm going to show you today my own process in how I study the Gene Keys. If you're a beginner or you just want a different perspective on how to work with the Gene Keys, this is the video for you. Stay tuned. So the first thing is finding a quiet space. Have a maybe 30 minutes or a one hour that you're clear that you don't have anyone interrupting you, but there's nothing that's going to come up and interrupt the process. Find a quiet space and then do your yoga, your meditation, breath work, pray to your altar, light some candles, maybe take a bath and a glass of wine, whatever will make you feel relaxed and, and comfortable and that you can make a connection with your subconscious mind and you can let these things uh, percolate inside of you. You can also, if you feel like it, pray or try to make a connection with your higher self, whatever works for you. After doing this, I'm going to ask you to have ready your Gene Keys book or the 64 uh, Gene Keys audios, which are the ones that Richard Rudd has uh, made a comment on. He goes for about 20 minutes on each of the Gene Keys and gives you his own perspective on them, which is quite different from the things you read in the book, so sometimes it's nice to also even do both. You're going to get your Gene Keys profile, you can get the free profile at the Gene Keys website, and you're going to focus on one of the spheres. Today we're going to do the life's work because that's the easiest one and it's the first one and most important one, it's your son. You know, so it has a lot of weight on your profile and all across uh, your life. In this case, I'm going to use a chart of one of my friends that has the 57 in the line 2. Just to give us an example, but you can use whatever is uh, yours and whatever fits to your profile. So you're going to read the chapter on the book or you're going to listen to the audio in a relaxed way without trying to grasp at the information. Just while well, you're relaxing there, you're doing your yoga, you can even be painting or doing something that lets your mind float. You know, a little bit, you can be lying down, meditation position, whatever you want. Even painting the walls, it doesn't have to be fancy. And meanwhile, you're listening to the audios or you're reading the book. Take notes if something resonates. If you feel like, oh, that's me, or that's me in the shadow, or that's me in the gift. Take notes, make a little note there, and try to see how that applies in your life. After you do that, I want you to go to the second section. The first number on the left is the gene key, the second number is the line. So let's grab the references for the lines for the life's work, in this case the line 2. How does this apply in my life? How does the line 2, in this case the dancer, the easefulness, what comes natural for you dancing with life, how does that apply to the gene key 57 of intuition? That gene key 57 is about letting your intuition lead the way. How many times your mind, because it's fear of scarcity, I'm not going to have enough, or is this going to be, bring me problems, the mind wants to try to control your life, puts pressure to control, instead of you trying to find your own way through your intuition. That is the shadow of the 57. How can we relate this easefulness, this dancing with life, with the intuition, with following our intuition at all times. A person with a 57 in the sun has a very developed intuition, has to follow it at all times, and that will give them ease in life, like flow, things will just come to them without the mind trying to analyze and, and strategize through everything. So this is the work that is going to happen for this person that is studying this, or my friend. You're going to start observing all these things in your life. You know, you're going to start observing them First, when you study them, when you do this process, and then also on the days after in your behaviors, when you relate with someone, how am I following my mind instead of my intuition, or whatever it is in the jinky that is pertinent for you. So after you finish listening or reading and making your own uh, thoughts about it, maybe take some notes and close the space. Let it lay there. Don't push any further. Don't try to overanalyze. Go on with your life, go to your work or have fun, whatever it is that you do. And there you would have planted a seed in your subconscious. You can tell your subconscious, please show me, let me work with this. How can you help me work with this? And you will see that maybe in a day, maybe in a week, maybe in a month, something will sprout. It will sprout to life. It's like, ah, I see it now. I see this shadow in my life. I see how I'm trying to push hard even though I'm tired today or I see what I'm doing and it's like, okay, no, I'm going to choose the other way. Why is my intuition telling me to do? And you take the other route. And this is how you polish going from the shadow into the gift states. And the CD is an even more advanced state, but don't like focus on that for now. Focus on the gift. That's what's important. The CD comes at the perfection level, comes much later in your journey. 
and it comes by itself by an act of grace so you don't have to be pursuing it uh, per se and that's it that's my whole process for working with the jinkies you can make a poster and put it on your wall so you see it every day what are the keywords for this gene key what are the questions that were most important or the aspects that were more important for you and then you have it there on the wall and you see it every day and you always have a constant reminder of uh, how this thing can work in your life and that is my whole process really you can have it one day for each sphere so it will take you like about two weeks to go through the golden path uh, journey through the activation sequence which is about your life purpose the venus sequence which is about the relationships and the pearl sequence which is about gaining prosperity in your life by doing what you love by serving the whole or you can take more time you can take one week for just one sphere and then move to the next one that is really up to you i really recommend if you want to go further to do the courses the official courses from the gene keys all of these three courses that i just mentioned i will leave some affiliate links below please uh, go through those links if you plan to study further. I really, really recommend the guides that I made. I made them originally for myself. They're these posters that have all the 64 jinkies with all the information, like the astrological sign, the human design center, the programming partners, code on rings, all of the information for each key. And also for each of the spheres of the profile, you have all of the lines for them. So it's very easy for you to study. You say like, okay, I have my life work 57. Okay, 57 and it's intuition. And then you see, okay, and I have line two in the life's work. Everything is there. So it's very quick to access it. After you've read the book or heard the audios, you go back to the reference guide and it's very easy to come back to it every day. It's very, very useful resource. I'll leave a link in the description. So that was it. That was the whole process. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you go through this journey, what insights have you got? And I'm always um, very happy to hear what other people have discovered practically in their own lives uh, with the Jinkies work. And thank you for watching. There will be more Jinkies videos in the end sequence and see you soon.